morning. My name's John with the Pine Tree. I have the great pleasure of being here with Paul Peterson again this morning. Thanks, Paul. Thanks for having me. Hey, no, last time we talked, we were just getting the season underway, right? We were just getting, you know, we were just about, wasn't that what we were? Yeah, we were talking uh, a couple months ago. Yeah. And we just had a few trails open, and we're getting excited about the winter, and now here we are at the end of February. <laughs> Now, we're going to start off on some, uh, now this is like real news stuff. We have some promo stuff we're going to do later. This is kind of cool. Is you had the, uh, no, yesterday they did the survey. They did the uh, snow survey, right? Yeah, once a month uh, the Forest Service comes mm -hmm. up and does a whole snow survey. Okay. And uh, David Vosti uh, always likes to check in with us because right. it's out in the middle of our cross-country trails where they have one of their survey sites. And so they, uh, they measure the water content and the snow depth. Mm -hmm. And so it's pretty interesting what they came up with. Uh, looks like there's a consistent seven feet of snow out there. Nice. And that's after measuring ten times. Nice. And, uh, since the last time they did this a month ago, it uh, looks like the water content has almost doubled. And they're now at 80 to 85 percent of normal. And so David was pretty excited about the whole uh, snowpack analysis right. that happened yesterday. Right. It's good news. So 85 percent, and it's snowing now. So I guess, you know, the storm we'll door up. is still open, <laughs> and uh, it looks like, you know, it's certainly possible. Right. You know, we've had miracle marches in the mm -hmm. past. Mm -hmm. uh, there's been some talk about drought, and we're in a multi-year thing. Uh, Dave was quick to remind us of that. Uh, but at the same time, uh, you know, we've got a snowfall today. We've got right. some later right. this weekend. Right. Uh, looks like March is going to be a snowy month, and uh, that is should look well. Oh, that's large nice. Part. That's nice. I guess it's one of the things as locals up here, and it's like well, a small media outlet. We always bag on the big media outlets, is they always like to play the no snow thing up over the Bay Area and stuff. That, and that's kind of well. It's, it's <laughs> funny. There's a real perception reality gap there, and uh, you know, with seven feet of snow, my yeah. God, we got snow till June at right. this point. Right. And so uh, we always have more snow than people think. Right. Once it does lay in, it lays in. You know, this is one of the great things about Bear Valley. We always get snow. You always get snow. And yeah. uh, now we have yeah. way more than we need to get through the end of the season, middle to late April. And so uh, we're in great shape that way, and it's not going to go away right. anytime soon. And even and even the perception there was a couple weeks there. I mean, it's always been good skiing this year. I mean, I think from a lot of people, it's been good. I mean, it's been good. I mean, it's well, you know, everybody has different perceptions of what snow yeah. is. But right. my perception is, if you get the day off and you're on snow, it's a good, it's a good day, <laughs> and the snow's good. It's it's always good snow. You just every once in a while make a bad turn. Right. <laughs> so, right. <laughs> So I guess the takeaway is seven plus feet of snow. You'll have snow through, you know, plenty of snow through April. Um, then yeah, and then as play, it changes, right? you know, yeah. what, what's happening now is we've got some special events coming right. up. The days are going to get longer. We've got uh, the weather's going to get a little warmer, mm -hmm. and and so we're starting to move into that mode where we've got tons of snow. We've got just uh, this big blanket of snow to play on, and. With the weather improving, you know, it, it changes the snow a little bit. Right. For cross-country skiing in particular, I think it improves the skiing because the snow gets a little glidier, a little faster. You spend less effort to go, you know, 5 kilometers, 10 kilometers, 20 kilometers. When it's brand new snow, all of the powder hounds at the mountain love that. Right, right, um, right. It's, it's actually creates a little more physical work out in the, in the cross country. It can be magical. Sn right. People do love snowflakes yeah. falling. Yeah. And a lot of people ask, and, uh, you know, is it going to snow? I love it when it snows. And uh, they, they want to be out there during those right. conditions. But, right. you know, my perception is boy, let that, that sun come, let it melt and freeze a few times, let the snow get fast. Let and the trails get all bedded in. And just yeah, and then, then you can explore, you know, go a little further with the same about energy mm -hmm. you know and, and that's so the spring's really my favorite time very cool uh the last third of the season is the best now you've got some fun stuff coming up now this is the i think we're going to talk about the 36th annual bjorn Lopet. isn't that the we've got uh yeah the 36th annual it's been a long uh tradition here in california now you're not even 36 yeah uh, so you was very nice of you to say that. Uh, <laughs> turns out i was at the second annual oh, one okay. of these. Uh, <laughs> And uh, now the Bjornlapet, which is Norwegian for bear race, uh, the roots of Bear Valley Cross Country lie in, in uh, Norway and, right. and the Norwegian founders 
uh, both John Perelius, who founded the sports shop, and Ragnar Hawkinson, one of the original instructors, and then myself with my, my Norwegian roots. My father was born in Norway. So Bjorn Lappet, Fair Race, Got it. 36th Annual is coming up March 7th, Saturday, and another day of racing on Sunday. We throw this huge awards party with lots of food and prizes, and uh, that happens Saturday afternoon, and it's really a lot of fun. Now this is one of those fun ones, Stuart. If anybody, you know, even if this is only the first time they've been on skis this year, this is still safe to come up and do, right? This is the... Well, we really buff out the grooming <laughs> on this one, kind of roll out the red carpet. Sure. We've got people like Bill Brett. He's coming from Chico. He hasn't trained whatsoever, but him and Victor Gio, who lives in Avery, they use this as a, a, an excuse to get together, get Got a little it. exercise together, visit with everybody at the party afterwards, and it's just kind of a healthy thing. I don't know if either one of those guys are going to get a day of cross-country skiing in prior to the race, but they'll get a day in that day. And, there you go. Uh, so, you know, it's it's come as you are, you know, fit or not fit. Right. Uh, we've got a gal that's pregnant, Laurel's Lions, talking about doing this. Uh, you know, and, and so just, is it labor inducing? Is that the. No, no, no. She's not no, that far. Okay, all right. But okay. uh, <laughs> the fact is, you know, we, we have three generations of skiers in the McPherson right. family out of Arnold. Uh, they've had, you know, grandparents, parents, and kids all doing it. And there's just uh, no reason to not go. Right. If you like to cross country ski and you want to be with a bunch of great people for a day and celebrate. So spring. they didn't even have to have equipment. They can come up and rent it and go, right? Yeah, we've got there all the models. Yeah. The gears here, if you need gear, and uh, we've got great stuff for racing on. And uh, yeah, it's just it's a lot of fun. <laughs> Very cool. So um, now, what else is you? You guys still got sledding hills going on. You have what three or? Did you add another one? What's well, we the... expanded our tubing operation. Okay. So we now have three tubing runs and three sledding runs. And uh, this stuff has turned into a big hit. I, you know, with Cottage Springs going away, uh, people are looking for places right. to do this activity. Right. And just in general, in America, um, I was just over in Yosemite, and mm -hmm. their tubing hill is operated by the cross country area. And, right. and that's very popular. They're surprised by the popularity. So it seems to be a growing part of winter recreation. We're meeting the needs. We've got the right. parking lots, we've got the food service, we've got the bathrooms. Uh, we've got some great safe places. A little to do more it. of a controlled environment than just pulling off the side of the road and yeah. going. Huh? Yeah, okay. you know, I hate to promise safety, but at the same time, we right. you know, the run out's a nice right. big flat meadow, right. and people in general do not get hurt out there. And that is, uh, it's been fun for us to offer that. So we're really, you know, we're a winter trail thing as people powered recreation. We've got sledding, tubing, snowshoeing, and cross country skiing. The spring is, you know, bring us all these great events and right. gourmet ski tours. We've got another Very race cool. in April coming up. We've got, uh, you know, just a long winter ahead. And we're just hoping everybody knows what's going on. There you go. Make it. Now, I guess the interesting thing is, uh, we, in fact, we saw one lady uh, uh, this week up at the hillside of it that um, <clears throat> was in between jobs with the economy doing what it's doing. So now it's more people have more time on their hands right now, so come on up and play, right? Well, that was a discussion <laughs> I had in the locker room at the mountain the other day. Uh, you know, is this person got the day off or they got the week or month yeah, off? Yeah, and, uh, yeah. You know, if you've got, we all need to get a little more outdoors yeah. and a little more exercise yeah. and a little more family fun. Uh, and, and so, you know, my plea to everybody, We've got this great resource. This yeah. is a world-class yeah. facility. You know, come up and enjoy it. Thanks, Paul. You're welcome.